What's going on, Osboy Shells? We're back here on Fallout. Who are these people? Lawrence Higgs, Synth Strider. Man, do I want to mess this place up? So I gotta find a terminal in this place. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Spend enough time here, and you'll be sick to death of the word synth. I certainly am. Doctor? You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. If that's how you feel, why not leave? Because we could do so much more. And no, everyone is obsessed with these damn synths. It's wasted potential. That's what it is. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Okay, you're useless right there. Let's go find a person over here. It's an honor to have you here. What was that sent? What was that sent? What was that? Are you cheeky, are you? Oh shit, did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so bad. Oh my god, I whacked that person. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad. Oh my god. Welcome to the Institute, ma'am. <clears throat> Just a routine patrol, ma'am. You're scumbag, I know you are. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you back real good, son. There's still on this level down here. I'm in a real tough situation. I want to help the railroad so badly, but man, that institute line has completely changed me. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. So far, I feel like these scents have been just abused. That's just me, like. So, decision, decision, decision time. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Nothing to report, ma'am. I'm so proud of you. They weren't normal. kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe him. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. 
Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with Bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. Okay. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? What do you got? Let's see what you got. Experimental 18A. Not really interested in that at the moment. Mark 3. Nope, we're good. Right, so we need to find some more. This is crazy. Glad you made it. We don't usually welcome outsiders. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial then. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. All done. <clears throat> I hope I'll Once you settle in, I'll want to do a doctor. physical and get a file going on you. No hurry, though. You're the doctor here? Everyone's a doctor here. But if you mean physician, then yes, I'm about as close as we've got to one. How about you take some time to get comfortable, learn the lay of the land and such. In the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup when you're good and ready. Take care of yourself. Okay, so where's the closest place? Let's go to the advanced system building and figure where our next objective is. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. I got in here. Terminal. Okay, let me use this thing. Do you access logs? Regulation updates. Okay, I can't load it for some reason. It's weird. Well, that was productive. If you ask you? me, we're only scratching the surface with the latest synths. Do there, but we'll just leave it. 
Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A coarser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Okay, well, she didn't tell us much. I can't use the doctor. Advanced system in space. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's. well, it's, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Okay, so I was talking about the first person that we thought was Sean. This is getting pretty good. Okay, so I like the way they brought the somatic around. They brought some. Wait, why is it forty? I like the way they brought forty and forty apart. Like that's pretty, pretty cool. We're gonna go to the left first. Operating at full capacity. Let's head to bioscience. Let's see what they're up to. It's important. I don't know what that is, but that seems like it's something very rare. Look at the ceramics. I don't have very much weight left, do I? About 20 pounds. First, take a hyper microscope, take a small plate, I'll take that ear examiner. This is what called? This is. Oh, 
what's this called? Further evolutionary virus, is it? What does FEV stand for in Fallout again? It's like evolutionary virus. This is this is bad. Hang on, what's it called? Forced evolutionary virus. That is oh wow, this is big. This is the FEV. This is in Fallout 3. This is what created the super mutants. So we need to investigate this lab immediately and find out the hell's going on down here because I don't trust the institute one bit yet. And I don't think I trust them any more about this. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. I'll see you next time.